Happiness Villa. This is their latest villa, the Villa X. It just opened yesterday, actually. Actually, it did. We're, <laughs> We're the first guests. <laughs> Pretty excited to be here. So we are working with Happiness El Nido and highlighting this beautiful destination in the Philippines. In this video, we're gonna get into what type of food can you expect to get here? Island hopping, activities, stuff like that. Places to go. A lot of fun stuff. So and partying. We're really excited to show you this. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Guys, when we rent a car, we always like to name it something. What's the name of this car, Abu? Banana. <laughs> Welcome to Banana. Perfect. It's banana. Banana trees surrounding banana. When you are in the Philippines, you'll see these type of tricycles. It's very iconic for the country. So in India, you have the tricycles, the more, um, what's it called in India? The tuk-tuks. In India, you have the tuk-tuks. In the Philippines, you have the tricycles. Here in Palawan, it's super special because they're all a little bit more different than the one you find in Manila. You see that they have the car window in the front. It's a three-seater, and you see that they've kind of like built this shell around the motorcycle. And this is, uh, the kuya is tulog na, tulog siya. It's a hard work. They drive all night and then sleep when they can. We are at the main street here, going out of El Nido town towards Korong Korong Beach and this is an area where you can buy a lot of souvenirs bring home or for personal use hey. mm -hmm. You think it's cheaper here than in the stalls down by the city? Yeah, they, they said it's more affordable here okay. because the rent is cheaper here so prices are a little bit lower so let's see if we can find something unique or nice for our house or like some pieces that yeah. we can wear Yeah. Alright, so when you're shopping at these local markets, I have two tips for you. One would be to walk up and down the strip once, just to gauge if someone's selling the same things. For example, now I found this very, very beautiful, almost like native design that says El Nido, and I'm thinking this is perfect for our home. It's also important to understand that bargaining is part of the culture, so they will say one price, but it's kind of like given that you should go down a little bit. So never settle for the first price, talk about it a little bit, how much you like it, and then end it all by saying, what's your last price? Usually the last price is 30% cheaper and that's kind of where it's at. At the last price, 250 yeah? 250 Guys, here in the Philippines, they got the real fake. <laughs> Balenciaga, man! That's so funny. I don't support that, but... It's just so funny to see. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. What the heck? This is the El Nido vibe right here. Is it fire? <laughs> hey, so we got this. The best tip I can give you, if you have a Filipino friend, have him buy it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Half the price. <laughs> A foreigner lady asked how much this is. The, the vendor said it's 180, uh -huh. but when it comes to me, it's 120. <laughs> See, I told you guys. Uh, I told and, you then, guys. and then, you know, I mean, it's nice, but I don't actually like need it, need it, you know? It's not like, oh, I want this. So I asked, can I just have it for 100? And the lady was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the trick is 
when you go to these stores, usually they add a hundred peso more yeah. or two hundred. Yeah. So um, that's what you should do. <laughs> Ask, uh, cut down for the as for their asking price. Cut down one hundred or two hundred pesos. Oh really? Yeah. The Thirty to fifty percent. <laughs> well, it depends how big it is. Of course, if you buy, if you want to buy something for a hundred, you know. You ask maybe can be 50 pesos yeah. or 70. So that's how you bargain. I'm very happy with this. Hey everyone! You ready for today? Uh, yeah, let's turn off the light. Today's resort day. We're gonna chill here at Happy This Resort. It's gonna be great. We never get to do this. Just came out of the sauna and we're gonna do a three minute ice bath session. Got the wife here to support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how much I get from this. This is yeah. like the ultimate power. So I'll share with you a little tip. If you're looking to increase your performance in other er areas of your life, consider doing ice bath because the mental uh, stress you have to go through and defeat within yourself, if you can defeat that for three minutes there, there's nothing in business, relationship or life wow. that will hold you back. I swear to God. Okay. Three minutes. Let's go. It's two they, have a, they have a proper sauna here. Oh. All right, start. Wow. Two more minutes. Last 40 seconds. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 3 minutes. <gasps> wow. Crazy. It's all about pressure. So like everything is trying to like beat you, but you just have to stay in there. That's why I like it. I don't like it. It's mental. It's so beautiful. It's like I feel amazing right now. <laughs> My whole body's tingling. But the power is really when you have the ability to go from ice bath to sauna. But I'm the one who's afraid. You don't have to be afraid. It's a mental thing. You know when the baby oh, comes out, mental. I'm not gonna get any sleep. So I need to prepare myself mentally for the stress. Okay. So now I'm ready to become a dad, no? <laughs> Because of that. Yeah. My wife is here in the pool. Hello, I've been swimming here. How is it? Well, it's really nice because um, I don't get to feel how heavy I am when I'm here at the pool. <laughs> yeah, and it's also a warm day today. Yeah. So this pool really cools me down. Yeah. But one thing that I learned that I I sink now. Uh, yeah. I was it's harder to for me to swim. So when I'm swimming, it's like it's like as if there's a weight. Yeah, I thought it was mm -hmm. going to be the opposite. That yeah, the baby I thought was so gonna too. Make you float. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's harder to float as well. So, hmm. just uh, here relaxing by the shade because I also get hot easily. Yeah. So warm. So this is perfect. It's also very nice because here they built something that I've <laughs> always talked about, like having like almost like a beach but in the pool. Yeah. So it goes like a little bit up like this, and I love it because you can lay in the water but still 
feel like you're on the beach yeah. without the sand. <laughs> I thought actually it's going to be slippery. Yeah. But it's not. No. So it's like made out of like a little rough cement, white cement. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I, I think I've been here for three hours now. <laughs> yeah, you have. <laughs> On I, and off. I guess it might be nice for if you have small children to like hang out up yeah. here. Of course, you need to supervise them all the time mm -hmm. because it's a little bit deeper over there. But overall, such a nice vibe, like beautiful the way they built the hotel around the tree. Yeah. And here you have the spa and the wellness, mm. the ice bath and the sauna. Mm. It's complete. It's complete. I also noticed that mostly families and couples that yeah. are checked in here. And I also noticed there were some Swedes here yesterday. No Norwegian yet, but it makes me very happy to see Scandinavian people also discovering the Philippines more. Guys, we are very excited to highlight this new villa that Happiness is offering called Villa X. You guys are going to love it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Price pool going on over here. Even the carpet. This feels like you're in a Persian like open air bedroom. Have a lounging area down here, large kitchen. This place can fit up to, I think, six people because you have two bedrooms and you can also do two mattresses. So you can get together or a group of friends and rent it or bring your whole family. Downstairs bathroom, let's check it out. No other than just hard concrete straight on, open shower. But my favorite is the bedrooms. It's so calm here. So that's what I like about what they've done here in uh, Happiness El Nido is that they've placed the private villas away from the resort. If you like to be like a little bit more private and you like to have it calm around you, this is the spot. If you're thinking like me, oh my god, it's going to be horrible to carry that luggage upstairs, but they do have staff that do help you with that because it's an exercise in itself. Welcome to the first bedroom on the second floor. Here you can also ask to have like a second bed come in just like this. So nice, right? Just come up here, lay down, wake up a little bit elevated, almost so you can see the ocean view from here. From the third bedroom upstairs, you can. Or for the second bedroom upstairs, you can. Private balcony for the couple or friends staying in here. Also here, over here, you have your own bathroom, which is really nice to have separated that. And I'm the type of guy that likes to sit and shower. I don't know about you, but it's so nice to just sit and relax when you're showering and like wash yourself. I really appreciate that. Let yeah. me show you the upstairs. Going up to the third floor. Here you can request to have in-room dining so you can have your breakfast in the morning. Also has a very nice ocean view where you see the mountains of El Nido in the back there. Beautiful. Little kitchen sink going on over there, and the second bedroom on the third floor. Come inside. It smells delicious here. That's one of those things that you can't tell on video, but so fresh. And you have the ability to use the ceiling fan up there, or you have the split type air condition. Large flat screen TV if you just want to not do anything for a day and just watch Netflix. And then in here, also a private bathroom, wet shower, toilet, everything you need. I mean, come on. If this doesn't make you want to book a trip to the Philippines, I don't know what will. <laughs> doesn't get better than this. Sunset session in El Nido. There are just so many different spots along the entire coastline where you can explore and see the sunset for yourself. Today we found a really good one. I mean, infinity pool, good drinks, can't complain. here 
here in El Nido downtown. Okay, now let's find a place where we can eat. There's so many options actually. It's a lot of restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out! I know, right? <laughs> We're gonna try the food truck. Oh, craft beer too. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. It's really hard to find draft fair in the Philippines. But they have it here. So much happening. Like it's developing so much, and just in two years, you're coming back. And you're like, wow. So it's really the time to travel to the Philippines. It's now. It was yesterday, but today is also good. Ready for I look happy. Hey. We just had a such a nice sleep in this villa. So peaceful. Oh, it's so quiet. And so big. <laughs> okay, so today we're going out on island hopping and if you want to do that, you can book your tours here at Happiness Travel and Tours or you can book it directly in the reception at the hotel. Look where they're taking us! Into this hidden lagoon with blue water and lime rocks just coming up of the ocean like that. Spectacular. And hey, over there, a little private beach. Some mussels, shrimp, chicken, adobong chicken, vegetables, pancit, um, pork, then fish, grilled fish. I know fish now. Tuna. 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 Oh, wow. And fresh fruits. And that's pancit. Pancit, yes. The noodles. Check it out! Island lunch. The best of the best. I'll explain again what we were having here. Well, we're having shrimp, sauteed veggies, uh, adobong chicken. Plants. Yeah. That's mussels. Mussels. Tuna. Fruit. Grilled tuna. <laughs> and pork. Grilled pork. Like a tropical mix of different flavors. Yeah. It's also included in your island hopping. When I moved to the Philippines, they taught me how to eat with my hands. You combine the rice and then you use your thumb as a shovel. To Floating on 
convenience store. You want this? I'll buy it. You got your ice cream. Craving satisfied. Guys, we are now at the third stop of the day. Another lagoon where you can rent a canoe and paddle in. The guys are selling ice cream here, tandoai, cold drinks, soft drinks, whatever you need. And one of the highlights, there's different tours that you can do when you're coming here to the Philippines, especially here in El Nido. They have something like this, which is called a dream tour that Happiness offers with a DJ and more like a party crowd. Then you have something like we're on today, which is a shared tour, but without the DJ, it's just very low key. You can also do private, so you rent a boat like this, just the two of you or a couple of friends. You can go out also on a speed boat. So there's different options depending on your budget, and I just wanted to highlight that. Yeah? Yeah, it's like taking an ice bath. <laughs> Almost. So we have arrived at our fourth destination. La Check Pasa. this beautiful Vigan. place out. Yeah. This is a lot more cleaner beach than the one we went to earlier. There's also a cove here in the back that you can explore. And the water looks pretty clear, so you might be yeah. able to snorkel. Because another thing that we're here during Amihan season, meaning it's super windy, so the seaweed that you can see is from is washed to the shore right you know that's why there's a lot of seaweeds there but hopefully someone can clean this up yeah <laughs> yeah because it's so beautiful you know and Just, check this out in the back here so i'll yeah. zoom in to where it kind of this is what it looks like when i am looking at it in real life kind of like yeah. this so pretty like the mountains are just sticking up from the ocean all the way around us here. Made on the beach in the Philippines. <laughs> Even has some um, organic strong. Long as we can get loose. And we dance all day. Middle of the night, come and move my way. Turn to New York in the Central Bay. Party all night like we in LA. It's the summer, we ain't got no better. It's the brand opening of Happiness El Nido. So they were hosting a huge party here. <laughs> There's DJs going on. It's gonna go be a party from 3 p.m. onwards until late night. Barbecue going on over here. Drinks, bar, selling clothing. This is like gonna be the event of this weekend here in El Nido. I'm very excited and we're <laughs> a little bit later you're gonna see it go from this to like completely jam-packed.
everyone. Good morning. Today we are being taken to Dooley Beach to surf. I'm excited. I actually didn't know you could surf here in El Nido, but apparently there's two spots. So you can go to Leo Beach for sunset by the airport. Or if you want to get like a little bit more authentic experience out in nature, not so close to the city in a way, you drive to Dooley Beach. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so now Sarah has taken us to Dooley Beach. This is one of the excursions you can do when you're staying at Happiness. Go out and surf. Looks like we have a clean set coming out today. There's a couple of guys out. You can get massage here, coconuts, surf, play volleyball. So when we were driving here, we were talking about different surf towns around the world. This reminds me of Santa Teresa in Costa Rica. The beach here is unreal. Let's do a sand test. Look at this. So surfing on beach breaks, it's much more nice for when you're starting out. But here there's probably not going to be any rocks or danger things that's going to hurt us today. Very excited because Jay, you're here with the camera and maybe we're going to get some footage of us actually surfing. Mm -hmm. 